Hi, this video will give you an overview of the action plan that you'll be working on over the next several months. The action plan is the culminating project for the certificate in OER librarianship. There are seven required elements. The first part is the executive summary. You'll write this last, but it actually comes first in your action plan. It should give a concise overview of your action plan, grab your reader's attention, highlight key points, and provide the why. Aim for about 750 words or less. If you have any localized data, for example, about student debt, textbook costs, food insecurity, or OER impact, you can include that data here. If this is the only part of your action plan that a busy administrator reads, it should persuade them that you have a brilliant plan that deserves support. Part two of the plan is SMART goals. So SMART stands for specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-based. You might find it useful to have short-term and long-term goals. Writing SMART goals for each major part of your plan will ensure that you're thinking strategically and realistically about how to implement your action plan. In the activities for modules one and three, if you identify training or resources that your institution is lacking, you might want to write SMART goals around de developing those. Part three is program timeline. So this timeline provides a concrete roadmap for your administrator. Once you've written your SMART goals, you can start to map out a programmatic timeline. And a three-year timeline is recommended, but not required. If your library has a five-year strategic plan, you might want to align your timeline with that. Things are always fluid and your timeline might change, but mapping it out allows you to see what needs to be done and in which order. Part four relates to budget and resources. What kind of funding and resources will you need to advance your program and make it sustainable? If you have no budget now, that's okay. This part of your action plan can be used to propose a budget for additional resources needed. Think about things like events, professional development, memberships and conferences, faculty incentives or grants, OER publishing support, perhaps even a dedicated OER position or student wages. Part five relates to outreach and communication. So a central component of this will be the different OER pitch statements for key audiences, which you've already worked on. We recommend a template approach that will contain the same basic points for each audience, but then highlights OER benefits that would speak to that particular stakeholder. Part six is the evaluation and an assessment plan for your program. What would a successful OER program look like? How would you calculate the impact of your initiatives? And what specific metrics can you use? How will you collect that information? Do you plan to do surveys? This section will explain your approach. Part seven is the SWOT analysis, and you can check this one off your list since it was done in module five. These seven parts can be arranged in a different order to meet your institution's needs. The action plan is totally customized for your institution and its unique circumstances. You can also include optional elements in your plan. This is totally up to you. Possibilities could include a training program plan, survey questions for either students or faculty, a faculty champion cultivation plan, or ideas for incentives or awards, ideas for an OER grant program, marketing materials like handouts, uh, brochures, maybe lip guides, uh, other things that you haven't yet developed. During the online portion of the Canvas course, the readings, discussions, and activities you've been doing have set the stage for building out your action plan. So in module one, the discussion was around your institution and its unique aspects and challenges um, and opportunities. Uh, the activity related to what kind of training and resources are needed. Uh, module two, the discussion related to pitches to your three stakeholder groups, faculty, students, and administration. The activity uh, aligned OER 
benefits with your strategic plan or your mission or values. In module three, the discussion revolved around OER searching and thinking about what kinds of resources you might want to feature for your users. The activity related to uh, resources and services, what you have, what you lack. Module four, the discussion was around successful strategies used at other institutions. And the activity was uh, revising an OER pitch for one of your stakeholders. And in module five, you met with leadership and you did your SWOT analysis. Over the next several months, we'll help you further develop your action plan, scaffolding with resources and information from asynchronous monthly videos, optional synchronous Zoom sessions, and monthly cohort meetings. So this is the plan. Uh, we have videos coming in this month, May, also June, July, and August. To guide you in completing the action plan, the syllabus in Canvas links to an action plan template that's pre-formatted to reflect the seven required elements. This Google Doc will live in a Google Drive folder where you can also store associated documents like slide decks, um, articles, data, marketing materials, whatever you'd like to share. We've also provided a non-editable template for you to view and previous certificate in OER librarianship participants have kindly shared plans that they developed last year. Uh, this template features examples for each action plan element in addition to three complete plans. And these are great resources for you to take a look at, to get ideas from as you develop your own plan. The syllabus in Canvas also links to the rubric that your instructor will use to assess your action plan. And this is the timeline for what to expect over the next several months. Uh, we'll be learning through the monthly asynchronous videos about action plan elements two through six. Uh, there will be the optional monthly synchronous sessions and those will be recorded in case you can't join them at a at the certain time. Uh, the monthly cohort sessions will be based on the required asynchronous videos. Um, you'll use the template to build out your action plan. We like to invite you to consider sharing all or parts of your action plan uh, with a CC BY license. You know, because we're all about renewable assignments, contributing to the growing field of open education, uh, this sharing is recommended but not required. Uh, there's an editable action plan that will be shared publicly. So if there are proprietary concerns that you want to keep private, like budget numbers or internal obstacles, please edit those out of the elements that you contribute to this template. And more information about this is in your syllabus. And then finally, uh, we'll have you upload your final action plan to Canvas. Before you do that, there will be feedback opportunities. So if you want feedback from your cohort on your action plan draft, please upload a draft to Canvas by September 13th. It's totally optional. The final version is due in Canvas September 30th. Uh, please also send a copy of your action plan to your dean, director, or supervisor, and then set up a meeting to discuss the plan with them. So that meeting uh, ideally would occur in October. And then instructors will provide feedback on your action plan within two to three weeks of the deadline for submitting it. So sometime in October. If you have any lingering questions, ask your instructor. You can also post to the open discussion for all cohorts in Canvas. Thanks for listening and good luck with your plan.